the sunny city of Barrie, Ontario, Canada at the Burger King. And so are we. Let's get it on. this uh, YouTube gravy train until the wheels fall off. Uh, I think I've stalled. <laughs> if I had a gun and you were right in front of me, I'd put the gun to your face. Bitch. Uh, I did the uncut raw videos. Whether we win or lose, we drink booze. A British, a British, a British peanut. Is this your full-time job? Yes. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. This is a business. Topper's Pizza. Uh-huh. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. Do you enjoy doing food reviews as much or are you bored? I'm bored. Tangy. 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 I'm insane. Double, a double. Oh, oh, yep. yeah. Oh, this is my car. <laughs> We're gonna do it. Here we go. Ready? Oh no. Mm. Mm. It's totally messy, but yeah. the idea is you keep it in the. Wrapper. I know. I know. I want okay, people okay, to see okay. it. Well, he wanted to eat this in the car. So I think we could have. No. Mm. Would have rocked my car. Mm. I'm not Muslim. Uh, I'm just a white Canadian Hitler flap. You see what I mean? Hitler flap. Thank you very much. Because I'm white. Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Yeah, I made more fucking money than you ever did. Now, if you're a child, don't fucking watch this. At the Burger King drive through to try something. Like what? Let me guess. Something like burger and fries? Burger and fries? Burger and fries? Burger and fries? Brand new on the menu called the Roasted Garlic King. Before we get to the food, keep in mind that the Big King is Burger King's version of McDonald's Big Mac, and the Quarter Pound King is... Burger King's version of McDonald's Quarter Pounder with cheese. Dead simple. Got that? Great. And also, we're going to do the jalapeno cheesy bites. And it looks like this uh, garlic king. Welcome to Burger King, Tracy speaking. What can I get for you? Hey, Tracy, how are you doing today? Ken Dominic, you ball breaking asshole. That woman who works there has to say her first name because her boss tells her to do it. And because his boss tells him to do it. And they do that across the chain. It's like, hi, this is Tracy. What can I get for you today? Hey, Tracy, how are you doing? And nobody does that. Nobody does that. It, it, Ken does it because he wants more material for his channel to make more money. He's hoping that she's going to say, say, like, you know, like what, what, what are you doing? Just get the food and leave. And if he doesn't get a response, he's, oh, what's going on here, people? He's, he's dressed in this costume. Like, it's the middle of the day. Other people are working. This woman is working. And he's like, well, it's time to dress up like the Canadian Canuckle head. And I gotta go leave the shack in the Elf Village and come to Barry to bother somebody at Burger King. Just tell her what you want, you bastard. Nobody does that. Nobody does that. He's doing it just to be a, a dick to try to start a fight with her, and you guys remember the HP episode from a while back, and uh, that's what he's hunting for. So it's like, well, it's so unfair that he got lucky with this income, and now he can just drive around in the middle of the day while other people are working, and he considers this jackpot to be work.
and he's got to break her balls with with some sort of fake conversation. Cannot stand this jerk. I'm good yourself. All right. Thanks for coming into work today. And thanks to you, Ken, for smearing your hand all over your polluted face before you exchange money and credit cards with her and her machine and whatever else inter interaction is coming. As if you cared. Oh, uh, thanks for coming into work. Look at the look on his face. It's like, <laughs> got some more material for the channel. Makes it look like I really care when I do not. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I want to try the uh, Garlic King combo with a Coke. And on the side, I'd like to try those uh, cheesy jalapeno tot things. Cheesy jalapeno tot things. Do you guys get how little effort Ken puts into his productions? And look at the look on his face. He's like half asleep and like, don't tell me he's losing weight. Uh, it's, it's, he couldn't handle working at Burger King or McDonald's. Uh, the, the, the names of the items are, are right there in front of him. He's said all day to prepare. And he can't even get that together. He puts in so little effort. Okay. And that's it, thank you. Alright, your total is 1580 at the window. Thank you. You're welcome. Cheesy bites. I keep calling them cheesy tots. Right here? He looks like a turtle. Like, he has some hair. He wants to shave it all off and make a public spectacle of himself and lean forward while wearing this costume. And I can say he looks like a turtle then. And he's just about to say, because he got the name of the item wrong, Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. It's total passive-aggressive. It's like, as if I fucking care what you say about me in the comments. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get our food and start eating. There is another one of his formula catchphrases, just as he is about to steal the Burger King trademark to make his videos feel more exciting and official. You know, that, that, that's his work at the editing bay. And this is where I steal the trademark and I bring it in so it kind of feels like Burger King is officially with me in some way. Let's get our food and start eating. Let's get it. Look at the look on his face. He's so miserable. It's like, say the catchphrase. Let's get our food and start eating. God damn it. Another day at the office. Go eat burger and fries. Go back to the shack and drink. Beer time? No, it is rum time. Let me tell you. It, as soon as I finish these dishes, and Carol gets home. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Thank you. Have a good day. Holy Toledo, I hope for the sake of the people at the Burger King in Barrie, Ontario, that you were not carrying any bad germs because <laughs> your face is right there in their window. It's like you're two inches away. Like your head is above the ledge. Dang. You too. All right, people, let's park it. All right, guys, we are parked. Let's go to the trusty steering wheel tray and start eating, shall we? All right, so the bill came too. Fifteen dollars and eighty cents. Uh, if the com if I just got the combo, it would be ten dollars and ninety nine cents plus our thirteen percent taxes here in Ontario, Canada. Let's get out the food and start eating. Let's get out the food and start eating. Let's get out the food and start eating. Look at the barely contained rage that he has. And of course, he's about to steal the Burger King trademark again. This clown is a menace to YouTube. Somebody produces a registered trademark and he just steals it and steals it because I'm Ken Domic. I take whatever I want. Let's see what they got in the bag. They got our straw, check. They got our napkins, check. They got our fries, oh, check. That one's dead. And we had two bonus fries. I'm gonna put this one over here for now. We got our jalapeno cheesy things <laughs> and our whopper no ken that is not a check that is not a whopper 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 it's the roasted garlic king Ugh. our ken has had this problem for a long time he's 54 let's take it back a couple of years ago and he already had this ongoing problem of not being able to tell the difference between a Burger King Whopper 
and the Burger King Big King. The uh, the XL, the Burger King XL, which I, I do know is a, a kind of a copy of a, uh, a Big Mac. I just forgot at the moment. That happens. I'm 52 now. Come on. No, how about you come on? That was two years ago and you were telling your audience, Hey, I know what it is. Come on. Come on. So I forgot, just for a moment. I'm 52. Come on. So maybe, like, I'm 54 and I still don't get it. Why don't you just say, I don't know my food, alright? I don't care. I'm going to be doing cat videos, okay? I just roll out of bed. I don't shower with my bald head. I go get a burger. I come back to the shack. Come on. Come in. It is 2020. He is 54. And he still doesn't know what it is. Here's a whopper. It's the big king. It's the big king. Please and thanks, Ken. It is not a whopper. Please. Carry on with your idiocy. And check that out. Two bonus fries. Maybe for the first five years, the bonus fries were cute and funny. And now, they are tired and sad. Bonus fries! We got some bonus fries here! And Ken doesn't have a career to retire from. Pandering to an audience of idiots that like repetition, repetition. Bonus fries! Bonus fries! At the bottom there, we'll put them on our napkin. There we go. All right, guys, got it all laid out. Let's get our hands sanitized. I'm going to turn the cringe music off, and we already made fun of this earlier. What I want you guys to pay attention to is the wrapper for the burger. The wrapper for the burger. Note that while Ken is doing his little stick. And also note that he's only using one camera and flipping the image, too. Cringe, cringe, cringe! Cringe, 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 cringe! Cringe! Alright guys, hands are all clean and sanitized. Let's check out this roasted garlic whopper. That is the second time that Ken has referred to that big king as a whopper. It is not a whopper. And you know what is written on the wrapper? It says Big King Bacon. It says it right on the wrapper. Like, Ken, you know, that, that is why we make fun of Ken and react to him. Because he's got no business having a food channel. He, not only does he have no passion for it to begin with, he's just like, well, here I am, uh, I'm making the cat videos, I hear you can cash in uh, with YouTube, and, and then some of his idiot fans says, go eat this sandwich, and go eat that other sandwich, wait a minute, there's other people eating, eating fast food in their cars, and doing reviews, and it's, uh, what? And he doesn't deserve it, and he has done nothing to get better at it, he hasn't evolved, and he just resents his fans because he's not a, a, a big time player anymore. He never really was. He was sort of on the cusp of maybe getting there. And that was Craycon. And he told people after Craycon, it was really a success. We're going to come back bigger and better next year. And he lied. It lost tons of money. And uh, not only did it lose money, it was a stupid idea. And... He then took down his own footage of CraveCon. And now you can't mention CraveCon on his channel. And that was it. And now he's just a bitter jerk of a hack. And he, he just has to make his his his, 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 you know, little bank to pay for his bills. And it's alright, so here's a sandwich. I gotta go do it. Yeah, let's get to this whopper. It's the big king. And it's twice. You referred to it as a whopper. It is not a whopper. It is not a whopper, Ken. And let's compare this one to the one I found on the internet. Ding! Is it close? Probably not. Ken Dominic keeps traveling backwards, which is what makes him such great material for a reaction channel. Others, they grow and evolve and get better. Ken stays where he is. For a time, he did away with the sped up eating. 
And then he brings it back. And for a while he did away with this. And then he brings it back. And and the moves that he makes are like what? How about slow motion footage of me walking into the restaurant? That is cringe and he has no clue that it is. Or how about let's do even more drone footage. Nobody wants it. So here he is, bringing this back again. Oh, wow, mm, no, probably not. And we already explained that for the quick service restaurant, the photography of the product is there to show you all of the ingredients. And if Ken Domic wants every one of those ingredients positioned perfectly every time he orders it, he'll be the first one to say, Oh, gosh, it took a long time to get this sandwich. Ken, keep going backwards. You are a whole lot more funny that way. And great for the Reaction Channel, too. <laughs> it's so hard to make them look exactly like the picture. Let's take this lid off and see what's inside. Uh, hardly any crisp, uh, crispy onions. We've got one slice of bacon, two, three little tiny strips of bacon. We've got the two huge patties. Thanks, Burger King, for the patty. we got the cheese pull. Check it out. That was not a cheese pull. And for somebody who makes food review videos or food experience videos, whatever he wants to call them, he should know better. Well, he does know better. It's just that he's so lazy. So, like, there's no cheese pull happening here. And so he pretends that there is because, oh, wow, that's, that's part of the industry, cheese pull. Uh, a cheese pull is when you separate two items and the cheese is all over the place or you break an item apart and the cheese is all over the place that is a cheese pull i'm going to show you guys what a cheese pull really is Brett, Brett, could you please break that for the people could it you break when breaking in half break it in half because just so i'm not tripping do the pull ranch do the pull do the pull Reg, just, nah not the cheesy not the, oh hold on let me get the bottom nah reg no Reds, nah! Reds, no! Reds! They fooled me. Reds! We had the wrong order at first. Reds! Son! We almost from one side of the whip to the other side of the whip! In what language does whip mean car? I'm 53 and I've never heard anybody refer to their car as a whip. We almost from one side of the whip to the other side of the whip! Yo! They're still pulling, son! <laughs> oh, nah, daddy! Nah, daddy! Yo! Yo! Oh, nah, son! Yo, it's to the window! To the window! To the wall! Oh, come on, son! We got the cheese pull. Check it out. And we got cheese... Oh, there's two slices of cheese in between, and then we got more garlic aioli on the bottom. We definitely did have it on the top as well. Before we bite in the night, let's check out our Coke. Show the logo. Ah. The only reason to act like that is if you were on a construction site for hours, and it was hot, and you got a break, and you got your Coke, and it was cold, and it carbonated, and... Ah. Like, Ken is, is on vacation all the time. He's always relaxed. And he hates working people. He hates them. Uh, these douchebags over here start work at uh, 7 o'clock in the morning. And the first thing they'd like to do at 7 o'clock in the morning, you know, being construction workers, is to uh, use very large hammers on sheet metal. Uh, and they only seem to do it at 7. They don't do it at 7.30, 8, or any other time during the day that I have heard. But uh, they like to do it at 7 in the morning when people are still sleeping and uh, in the hotel rooms. So it's really annoying. How dare you insult honest, hardworking people for doing their jobs while you're lying there, sleeping off a drunk from the night before when you were feeding whiskey? to guys less than half your age. And that is where we got the British penis footage from. A British penis. 
I don't know how that footage is even on the platform. It should have been taken down a long time ago. Anyway, we reacted to that back in the past. And every once in a while, we have to let you be reminded of it. That, that is how you feel about people who really work for their money. So, what do you have to tell us about this fountain drink, Ken Domic? A cold, refreshing... All right, let's take a bite of this thing. It smells very garlic, for sure. Oh, roasted garlic whoppers. For the third time, that is not a whopper, Ken Domic. And you may even take a look at the wrapper that says Big King Bacon on it. Stop talking about food. Stop making food videos. Go away. Start making cat videos again, or just... Go away and play with your Tijuana and I don't know. Just stop making food videos. Stop talking about food, please and thanks. Nice. We'll put a cheesy tot in the sandwich. We'll put it on the bottom. Check that out. You think I got my mouth around that? Ooh la la. I don't think. Let's do a couple fries. Mm hmm. Nice and salty. What does Ken have? French fries. And where is he? Burger King. So he may as well be at Wendy's or McDonald's or A and W or any of those other places. Because when it comes to french fries and all those places, they are made with machine precision. And they are always salty. Always salty. So much so, that if you want to be weird and say, Can I have fries without salt? They will stop the process, make you fresh fries, they'll be very hot, they'll serve you an order, and then they'll cover the rest with salt and sell them to everybody else. Or, or um, nice and salty? What else do you have to bring to the table for this, Ken? Um, let me guess. Cooked to perfection! Cooked to perfection? Oh yeah. Still hot. Nice. Nothing worse than cold fast food fries. I'm not sure if you can hear it. But they actually have some crunch to it. Nice and soft in the middle. Crunchy on the outside. Ken Dominic channel members and Ken Dominic Patreon supporters. Let me give you some advice. Take the money that you're giving to Ken Dominic right now. And treat yourself to some lottery tickets. Yes! Probably you will not win. You might. You might win the price of the ticket back. And at least you have a little chance of hitting it big. Treat yourself to something good with your money. Because you shouldn't give money to somebody who's telling you what french fries are over and over again. They're soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside. And they're very salty. Spend your money on yourself, please and thanks. Oh yeah. Perfectly done. I only have one more jalapeno cheesy bite. So I'm going to do one more bite, and I'll pack the rest up for later. We'll put it right there. <laughs> this is my big recommendation for you guys. you got to give it a shot, man. That was great. Squish it. You definitely have to squish it. Mm -hmm. Give it a shot. Give it a shot. All done. Baby, 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 all done. Guys, on my rating scale, I'm going to have to give Burger King Canada's roasted garlic whopper that is the fourth time that you have called the big king a whopper 
So what is the point of even listening to one word of your review? You think that you're eating a Whopper, which is a totally different sandwich. You don't know the difference between a Whopper from Burger King and the Big King from Burger King, which is their version of a McDonald's Big Mac. There is so much going on and you don't get any of it because you think you're eating a different sandwich. So what do I care for your review? You know, it just, by the time you did this review, you were up about a week away from retiring from reviews. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to review this thing myself. So let's do the appetizer first. There is a lot of breading. Those bites are not filled with cheese. Um, there is some jalapeno in there, and they do taste good. Not bad for the money for a snack item. Yeah. Now this, this is the big enchilada. We're gonna get to uh, to this. A lot of bacon in there. I am impressed. And uh, the pickles that I ordered are in there too. Yeah. No complaints. Let's, uh, let's get to it. <laughs> That is all I can eat. I have to remember that the Big King is Burger King's take on a Big Mac. So it should stay close to what a Big Mac is like, only that it is flame broiled. And with this, yeah. Then mix it up a little with the, the garlic and the bacon and the uh, onion crisp. Yeah, yeah, I liked it. A little bit pricey at eight ninety nine for the sandwich alone. Just by a dollar. Uh, Seven ninety nine. Yeah, uh, the, 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 with the two patties for seven ninety nine, I would have no complaints. For eight ninety nine, just a little bit expensive. Still liked it though. Bring your hunger. Bring your hunger. More like bring your laziness and bring your indifference because you do not want to do the work and you do not care about what you do because you just called the Burger King Big King sandwich a whopper four times in a row and wait a minute the thumbnail you called the burger king big king sandwich a whopper with the thumbnail that's five times five times in a row. wait a minute the title you had to type the title you called the burger king big king a whopper six times in one review Good thing that you retire from reviews, and you're just going to sit there and just eat and go back to the shack. Get out of here! Some people like it, some people won't. And that's life. Uh, British peanut. <laughs> double, double. That sucked like shit. That sucked huge fucking shit. Go out and get it. 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 Go out and get it now. That sucked like shit. Tangy.